the rules in the back there. No final questions from you, Red. No final questions from you, Blue. Touch gloves. Come on, well, we are fight. set to enter the main card here as Crazy Horse is set to take on Eric Boone. Now, Eric Boone has got some pretty heavy hands. Uh, he's fought in the Midwest, King of the Cage promotion out there. Uh, he's fought in Wisconsin. Detroit is his hometown. And tonight, this guy's ready to go. And he's joined up with Team Match lately. Uh, James Lee, former light heavyweight champion of King of the Cage. So you know he's got some good wrestling techniques and submissions. So we'll see what he has to bring to the table. But Crazy Horse, we all know he's got that deadly right hand and a lot of power behind it as well. So that's the one thing that Eric Moon really needs to watch. And Crazy Horse, the one thing he's always took pride in was not training. But we do see a different Crazy Horse getting in the cage because he's training with the likes of Tom Vaughn in New Mexico. Tom Vaughn trains the likes of Donald Sanchez and other fighters that you've heard. Gerald Lovato, tough guys out of that camp. So we'll see if Crazy Horse uh, has an advantage here now that he's training. So Eric Moon will get tossed by Crazy Horse. Crazy Horse trying to deliver a big left. Eric Moon picking away here. speed like I said gotta be careful you leave yourself open you could be uh, put to sleep with a big right oh knocks out the mouthpiece of crazy horse Eric Moon says let's go let's do this crazy horse barely misses the high kick and they'll take a break here Horse will get a chance to put his mouthpiece back in. Just amazing skills being displayed by Eric Moon. Uh, he's had so many amateur fights. I mean, I'm sure he's comfortable. But taking on someone like Crazy Horse is like taking your career to another level. And tonight, this could be a huge win for Eric Moon. It could put him on the map here at King of the Cage. So I'm sure he hasn't taken this fight lightly. And I'm sure Crazy Horse has been doing his research, man. Moon is a tough, tough guy, especially with those jabs. Finds an opening and delivers a right. Big combinations being delivered by Eric Moon. Crazy Horse delivers a knee. Like I said, you deliver a jab, you're going to get jabbed. And that's the way Crazy Horse style is. He's such a good counter-defense artist when it comes to the striking game. Who can knock you out in an instant. Eric Moon going in for the takedown and will get the slam. And lands in the full mount. Eric Moon trying to deliver some punishment and they are back on their feet. And that is a great performance by both fighters. See if he could pass the guard here again, but they'll get back on their feet. And wow, I think we got a knee there. But, uh, if the ref doesn't see it, the ref doesn't see it. But uh, it's as though he uh, still need him when he was uh, down on the ground there. It's okay to the body, but when it comes to the head, that's a whole other story. We all know that. So both fighters thus far are doing a great job. Like I said, Eric Moon has got some major hand speed and gets caught there with the left and a huge left delivered by Crazy Horse to end this fight. And Crazy Horse is back in full effect as he does his trademark backflip. Crazy Horse letting everybody know that there's a new Crazy Horse in town. He's training. He's doing backflips. And uh, yes, very excited as well. Like I said, it, a lot of people talk about it. All the fans of Crazy Horse. If a guy would train more, he, he, he could be the most dominating fighter in the world. And, uh, you know, we're starting to see a change in Crazy Horse. I hope for the good now. 
guys training with Tom Bond, doing some good things out there. So, you know, being out in New Mexico, there's really nothing really to do but train, and that's why a lot of the guys out there are so damn tough. They train 24-7, man. Well, I'm eating a, a burger at a fast food restaurant in the middle of the night. These guys are training. Excellent matchup displayed by both fighters. A very disappointed Eric Moon, but like I said, fighting someone like Crazy Horse is a huge, huge task. But being able to fight him is not a bad thing either. And uh, being able to get in there and scrap and stand with him like he did was impressed the hell out of me. So Eric Moon definitely has nothing to be ashamed of here tonight at King of the Cage Superstars. We want to thank the folks here at San Manuel Indian Bingo and Casino. Thank them for all the things they uh, providing MMA. Thank <laughs> you.